What's up guys, it's James. Today I'm gonna show you a couple of battles that I was about to lose, but this guy told me, never give up, trust your instinct. Alright, so the first opponent has a very similar team to mine, the only difference is that Cinderace is the only fast Pokemon in their team, so there's a high chance they'll send in their Cinderace first, so I'm gonna send in my Dragapult first and Urshifu and Togekiss to counter their Ferrothorn. So I got a comment on one of my videos asking which form of Urshifu is stronger, and I think the single strike form will be a little bit more challenging to use, because it has a double weakness against fairy type Pokemon. But the good thing about the single strike is that dark type moves are very good against some of the top tier Pokemon like Dragapult. But personally I got my butt kicked so many times by Mimikyu, so I'm gonna try out the rapid strike form. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to burn Cinderace here, because I know they're gonna come with a Sucker Punch against Dragapult. Uh, you know, probably, high chance. But, and now I learned that Cinderace's type does not change from Fire to Dark if the Sucker Punch doesn't work. So yeah, <laughs> my plan does not work here, and that's very bad. Yeah, I bring out this Dragapult to counter their Cinderace, because, you know, it was pretty obvious that they're probably gonna bring out their Cinderace first. So yeah, now I'm gonna... Now, now I'm thinking of doing like a substitute. You know, just in case they Dynamax. So I can waste their three Dynamax turns. Which they do. Dynamax. Hey, that's a pretty good fashion on their character. So yeah, I thought if Cinderace uses Sucker Punch on Dragapult, it's gonna turn to Dark-type, and then I can burn Cinderace. You know, when a Pokémon gets burned, its at attack becomes half. So, but anyways, there goes the Substitute, so... The substitute, and... Yeah, I get to waste one of, the, one of Cinderace's turns, but I'm kind of alarmed already because... I didn't bring any Pokémon other than Dragapult. Well, Dragapult was supposed to be good against Cinderace, but you know, now I know that its type doesn't change to Dark type. You cannot burn Fire types. You know. Leftovers. Yeah, so now the Cinderace is faster than Dragapult. And it wouldn't be a good idea to switch into either of my Pokémon, so <laughs> kind of stuck here. Yeah, the situation is already pretty bad. Yeah, so I'm not gonna switch my Pokémon, just gonna, you know, let Dragapult <laughs> go bye-bye. Hey bro, and now it turns into Dark type. And boom! <laughs> Sorry, Dragapult. Super effective, Dragapult faints. Okay, now we're in a really bad situation. Yeah, so my only option to turn this around is to send in a Togekiss and yeah, Dynamax, and Protect on the next turn, so Cinderace's Dynamax turn will be over. So I'm kinda hoping I can turn the battle around uh, in some way. Dynamax. Yeah, so it says super effective there, but they're gonna change their typing on the next turn. Because, you know, they're not going to use a fighting type move against Togekiss, because it's not going to be effective against Togekiss, so they're going to use some other move, so... You know, it will, you know, my attack move will no longer be super effective by the time they attack and change their type, so... The right thing to do is protect this turn, and survive this turn, somehow. Yeah, okay, just go wasting my Dynamax turn on the Cinderace. <laughs> Just a desperate move. Desperate move to Dynamax my Togekiss and go with the next card. 
Yeah. And see, that's what I don't get. You know, I protected its fire type move and it turns to fire type moves, but when when the sucker punch doesn't work, it, it doesn't turn into dark type. But yeah, I guess that's how it works. So yeah, better choose my Dragapult's move to like, you know, Thunder Wave or something. Yeah, so I do that a lot with my Cinderace. You know, do the bounce so you know, my Dynamax turn gets wasted. So Togekiss is gonna miss the Max Airstream. And Max Airstream. I'm praying that the bounce doesn't paralyze Togekiss. Don't paralyze, don't paralyze. Yep, Togekiss survives. And bye bye Cinderace. Boom. Togekiss speed rolls. Now I have yeah, now I have two Pokemon. They have now they have two Pokemon. So it's starting to look kind of better. <laughs> and then they send out Toxtricity, and I'm like, damn, I'm busted. Okay, so, at least Togekiss is faster, so we're gonna get to attack once. Yeah, Togekiss is gonna go with the Flamethrower, the only effective move against Toxtricity. Pretty good damage. And overdrive and bye bye Togekiss. <laughs> and this is bad. They got two healthy Pokemon and I only got one Pokemon. But this is where I hear Urshifu's voice. Never give up because the champ is here. The champ is here. The champ is here. Okay, sorry. Anyways, I'm gonna go with Surging Strikes, by the way. Uh, this Urshifu is holding a choice band. And that Surging Strikes is always going to be a critical hit. And it's a... What I like about, you know, this attack is it's a three... Three time attack, so... It doesn't matter if their next Pokemon is holding a Focus Sash or not. It's going to go down. Because this Urshifu, I gave Urshifu a Choice Band, and it makes uh, its attacks much stronger, but I can only choose one move, so I cannot choose a Fighting type move. Yeah, so that's... Snorlax has a very high defense. Well, a lot of players make Snorlax's defense very high, so even with the Choice Band, it's only gonna do that much damage. Critical hit. And it's gonna be a critical hit 100% this move. Yeah, critical hit. And there's Snorlax's berry to heal its HP. Mago Berry. And yeah, that Recycle move, Snorlax is gonna, you know, pick up the Healing Berry again and again. And I have the Choice Scarf, so I cannot choose a Fighting-type move anymore. I'm gonna go with Surging Strikes. Three-time attack. One. Critical hit. Two. Critical hit. <laughs> it's gonna heal again with the Berry. Yeah. Three. Yep. And yeah. Oh, at this point, they're dead me either way. Because since Urshifu's, you know, that attack of Urshifu's is always a critical hit, it doesn't matter how much they raise their defense. That's the thing about critical hit. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Their defense is raised, but critical hit. So. Snorlax is going down. Good game, buddy. Doesn't work on critical hits. <laughs> Alright, so the next battle. So they have that horse horse Pokemon. And it's very bad if they bring that horse Pokemon out against Urshifu. So I chose a uh, Snorlax. Because, you know, if they bring out the horse, then I can bring out the Snorlax and just do a belly drum. Because this Snorlax has a belly drum to, you know... <laughs> destroy any Pokemon that comes in the way. And I still don't know much about this Pokemon. Um, I'm still learning the new Pokemon. So, 
Yeah, I just... Yeah, I didn't go with Surging Strikes here, but because... I don't know, I, I, I just felt funny that they brought that Pokémon out first. And I didn't know what they were, they were gonna do with the first Pokémon, so I went safe with U-Turn here. And yeah. They have a very high defense because Urshifu's holding a Choice Scarf, so its U-Turn is gonna be much more powerful than usual. But it's only gonna do a little bit damage on that bug. So I got a choice of sending sending in a Snorlax or a Dragapult. Yeah, maybe I'll I don't know cut out this portion of the video if I'm gonna take too long choosing which Pokemon to bring out. Cool, Snorlax. Yeah, and then they come with a fighting type move, but that bug's attack is not that high right now, so Snorlax is gonna survive that. Attack Rose, and that's the ability, Speed Boost, so it's its speed is gonna be raised every turn. <clears throat> I know, Snorlax is slower anyway, so yeah. Their attack is raised, so no time to do Belly Drum. Yeah, so another desperate Dynamax on my end, or a Gigantamax this time. This is a desperate Dynamax to somehow try to turn this around. Go Dynamax! Oh, Gigantamax Snorlax! So Snorlax is going to go with a fire type attack, hit their weakness, they're going to try a max guard. I guess they just guarded to, you know, yeah, do that speed boost because it's going to, they wanted that speed boost and they're not going to protect on the next turn because you can't, you know, usually it's hard to protect two times in a row. They're going to raise their defense. Max steel fights, steel fight. Max flare. Yeah. It's a weakness, but it doesn't do much damage. Their defense is so high. <laughs> and they have a weakness policy to raise their stats even more. Raises attack and special attack. And the speed rate rises again. Now they have like an ultra fast and ultra power powerful Pokemon. Okay, so instead of attacking with that, they're gonna do a baton pass and pass on all the all the you know stat boost they got to the next Pokemon. I thought this was a very interesting strategy, passing everything on to Urshifu. But Urshifu is that Urshifu is water type, so fire type is not gonna work. So now they have an ultra fast Urshifu, which also has its attack raised. They're gonna use, uh, you know, if they use, I thought they're gonna use a fighting type move against Snorlax. In that case, Dragapult is gonna be able to negate that fighting type attack. But they're gonna come with water type attack. I guess they used that because I had ghost type Pokemon in my team. But look at that, it's only gonna do that much damage because I boosted this Dragapult's uh, HP and defense to almost maximum. But I'm kind of surprised because they're. Remember, their attack and special attack is raised by two levels. I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn. I'm gonna attack with that again. Critical hit. <laughs> Try to vote. Use the Will-O-Wisp. 
Now Urshifu's attack is half. Not sure why they why why they they didn't switch out their Pokemon at this point. I guess yeah, their uh, attack and attack attack is already raised by two levels, so they still got pretty good attack power, but you know, not against Dragapult and not against this Dragapult. I don't know, I'm kind of surprised that it's only doing that much damage. Disabled, so... I don't know. This was not a smart move because... <laughs> the move that they're gonna use next is actually gonna do... You know, it's gonna do more harm to my Dragapult. They're having trouble getting through my Dragapult. So I can either go with Substitute or attack with Hex. The the move Hex, it does double damage when they have a status ailment, like Burn. Yeah, so fast. And my Dragapult is paralyzed. Dragapult cannot move! <laughs> well, at least we still get to heal with the leftovers. They're burned. And then try to attack with a Hex again. Yeah, so I should have just attacked with Hex in the first place. <laughs> Cause yeah, it's gonna be one hit. Huh, this is a pretty long battle now that I now that I look back at it, huh? Oh, their last Pokemon. Oh no. And they still got two more Pokemon. They still got two more Pokemon. I'm just gonna... No. <laughs> Let Dragapult faint this time. Just a little bit worried because after each turn... The opponent's speed is gonna raise. Right, uh, rise again. That's great. That takes Dragapult out, and then they're gonna become faster. That's an interesting Pokemon. Maybe I should use that Pokemon too. Send in Snorlax, and hit its weakness again. Super power! <laughs> but my Snorlax's defense is pretty high too, so too bad. Okay, so let's Wiki Berry, heal the HP. And Fire Punch! So they got their speed boost, but because they used the Super Power move, their, uh, their attack and defense went down, so that's a good thing. Snor Snorlax is gonna survive the next hit because their attack went down. As Snorlax manages to somehow survive this attack. Yeah, fire Punch, and the bug is gone. Now one more Pokemon to go. What is their remaining Pokemon? Yes. That dragon finished Snorlax off. <laughs> Actually, I guess not. Uh, that's a good thing about Snorlax. It has one of the highest special special defenses. Well, maybe not that high, but very high special defense. Yep. Urshifu, it's time to finish the job. So yeah, once again Urshifu is holding the choice band. 
so its attacks are gonna be much stronger than usual. So. Go close combat! Ha! That was a long battle, but if you liked that video, be sure to like and subscribe, and see you in the next video!